Now that comm station K1 is safely in orbit, we can continue with the construction of our network. To complete this stage of construction, we will launch two relatively cheap unmanned satellites in highly inclined orbits opposing each other. They will provide coverage to pretty much everywhere within the Kerbin sphere of influence, both on planet and off. Once stage one is complete, we expect to be making about 15,000 kerbucks per financial cycle off this system. This is our solution for a main workhorse satellite. It's the Comsat K series. The launch vehicle is pretty basic, just two solar rocket boosters and four fuel tanks up the middle. The satellite has two antennas, one short range dipole antenna for relays and one medium range dish for any special jobs that need doing. Let's launch. And I'm not really sure why, but oh god, there's a cat. The, the um, flight control has a cat that's trying to claw his leg. Uh, anyways, I'm not sure why this rocket's on the pad sideways like this. Uh, I don't know that it matters. It might be a problem when I get to the gravity turn, but I hope to have shed these by then anyways. Throttling up, open up vessel and orb, and launch. Yeah, there we go. Staging. Igniting. Forgot. Uh, this gravity turn will be a bit of a challenge since we're off kilter. Uh, release SAS. And that's the wrong way, that's the wrong way. Oh, eep, eep, eep. Hold. Alright, we need to incline this a bit, so let's go to 45. Hold that. There we go. And uh, Miko. That's an apoapsis of 200 kilometers and a pretty good range. I just remembered that I might have problems when I get the Kerbal Space Center over the horizon because then we'll lose the signal and I don't know if our control satellites will be in view by that point. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. We are now at apoapsis, and I am pleased to see that we still have control over the vehicle. We haven't lost our connection yet. Mm, pitch over, pitch over, pitch over. Mm, hold that. And fire. Staging. Okay, we are now out of sight of mission control, but we are in orbit. We are in a stable orbit. This won't decay. It doesn't clip into the atmosphere or anything. Uh, I want to circularize this out a bit, but I'm going to have to wait until the stars are aligned, really, for me to do that. I'll join you then. Okay, I've been filling with this for a while now, and this is about as circular as I can get this orbit. I'm just going to take it, I'm going to launch another one of these in a opposing inclined orbit, and since that'll be very boring, I'll do that off screen. Be right back. And stage one of our network is complete. You can see here ComSat K2 being commanded remotely by Commutation K01. I've watched this system orbit a few times and it seems to be pretty stable. At any given time, so at least most of it is working. Now, let's do something fun with it. I'm going to go to the VAB and see if I can't come, with it, come up with something interesting. It is popularly believed that EVE is very much like our own Kerbin. In fact, it might even have life. It is also speculated that this life is quite possibly much larger than life on Kerbin due to the planet Eve's larger gravitational field. To this end, the Royal Big Game Hunting Society is willing to pay us 100,000 kerbucks for a low flyby of the planet Eve to do a survey in possible future avenues of big game hunting. To this end, we have crafted the Emissary 1, a very small satellite that will buzz the planet Eve and 
probably not make orbit, but it doesn't need to. The launch vehicle is a rather unorthodox design. Uh, these four external tanks feed into these two internal tanks, which then get us to orbit. I've never seen anything like this before. I don't think it'll work, but what the hey, let's give it a shot. All right, we are at the launch window. We are at the launch pad. We are ready to launch. Engines up, SAS on, five, four, three, two, one, lift off. Okay, seems we have to gravity turn and stage at about the same time here. Let's enter our retrograde orbit, hold that, and almost out of delta V in this first stage. Two, one, and stage. Beautiful. Okay, it just so happens that our par that our parking orbit has its outclasses about where we need to be for our transplanetary injection burn. So I'm just going to roll them both into one, and not turn these engines off. And about to stage. Stage. That pulled up some. That's that's good. Oh god, uh, this one appears to be a bit side side heavy. Um, er, come on, get in there. Hold that, please. Give it a bit of gas so it doesn't spin off again. There we go. What are we looking at? Yeah, that looks about right. Orbit's extending out that way. To go and meet Eve around here, I think? Maybe around, or maybe it meets around the other side of the sun. I don't know. And we are interplanetary. Let's see where that put us. Uh, that's a good start. Let's bring that down some more. And get closer in there. Uh, cut. Let's see what that geometry looks like. Okay, um, I'm going to want to do some normalizing burns, some burns along the normal watch mid jiggers to even out this because I don't like the way it's tilted a bit so I'm going to wait until I'm in solar orbit and then correct around that. See you there. We are now in interplanetary space. I'm probably going to cut this next sequence of burns because it's probably going to be very very tedious. And after a great deal of burning back and forth I have my Eve intercept. A periapsis of 22 million kilometers, that's pretty good for this distance. Uh, had to do a couple of inclination changes, some retro burns, some a bit of a prograde burn to make up for an overburn, but I've got it, and none too soon. Have just barely enough fuel to do anything else. I'll see you when we get closer, and we're closer, coming just up on the intercept, and there we are? Yeah, there we are. Oh, and it's nice level too. Good even intercept. Um, I'm going to try and round this out as best I can, but I probably won't be able to do too well because light speed is catching up with us. The round trip delay is already five seconds. I have a five second delay when I try to control the ship. Like a here, let's show you. I just commanded it to spin. Tick. There we go. So yeah, as you can imagine, I think it's going to be tricky to fly like that, but we'll see. I'll see you at the periapsis where we try this. And here we are at prograde. Actually, let's turn on the scanner so we can make our money. Alrighty. Oh, look, it displays the sun when it can. Uh, Kerbin, no. Moon, no. Minmus, no. Moho, no. Eevee, yes. Are we scanning? I, maybe. Uh, 
draw position. Okay, that's where we are. Um, in any case, there's our money. Now let's try and make it good. We've passed periapsis now, so let's... Oh, dang it, we don't have control right now. Um, I'm going to fast forward until we do have control again. Well, actually, let's try and configure this. If I can get mission control with this antenna. Nope. Let's twist that back. I'll be back to you when I have control again. There we are. We have our link. Now let's try and spin over gently, gently, gently. That's probably enough time. I'll turn on the SAS now. I was too conservative. Um, let's try that again. SAS off and spin that away and a bit this way. Oh yeah. SAS on. Okay, um, this might be silly, but I'm going to try it again. SAS off and up and SAS on. It's like trying to program it blind. This is very... It's actually kind of fun. Uh, okay, now I know we won't have enough fuel to get a circular orbit of any kind, but I want to make it as long a pass as possible, so I'm just going to turn the engines on. It won't matter if I turn them off because they'll turn themselves off when I run out of fuel. Let's just burn. And that's that. That's all the fuel we have. And let's see. We still haven't got any pings off of Eve yet. Um, I'll feel really silly if we didn't get close enough to it to get scans. Um, be right back. Okay, we've got some basic telemetry back. Um, I think the oceans of liquid mercury pretty much rule out any big game hunting. Our clients will be disappointed, but I hope they'll pay anyways. Signing off with this very strange mission. See you next time.